Hi, I'm Dr. V. I'm an interventional pain specialist and chief of the spine pain program at Bloor Pain Specialists in Toronto. But today, I'm going to be answering some common questions about low back pain and sciatica. How come people have their sciatica hurt in different parts of their life? Well, that's a great question and, a, and actually a very applicable question. So if you think about the sciatic nerve uh, causing pain from five different roots, you have L4 coming out of here, L5, S1, S2, and S3. The five of them come together through uh, the sciatic notch and, co and combine into the sciatic nerve. So if L4 is bothered, you're going to feel it in a different place than S1. They're both part of the sciatic, and they both go down the leg, but they go through different parts. L4 is going to involve a little bit more of the front side muscles, front side skin going towards the toes, while S1 is going to go more through the calf. L5 is going to be in between, and S3 is going to be in a different location altogether. So different people are going to be affected by sciatica in different ways based on which part of their sciatic is affected. And for some people, it's not any one of the roots. It's really the muscle that comes across. There's a muscle called the piriformis that attaches to the sacrum here, comes across to the back of the hip, and crosses that sciatic nerve. Sometimes it'll get too tight. Sometimes the anatomy changes a little bit, the muscle stiffens up, and it just shoves the sciatic nerve inwards, putting pressure on it or even pushing it into the bone right beside it, causing you to have leg pain. Now, those leg pains can be variable depending on which part of the sciatic nerve is being pushed and which part is becoming symptomatic. If you have a question that you'd like us to answer in a future video, leave a comment below. And please remember to like and subscribe.